All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is part two of the great Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem product review. Brought to you thanks to the uh, lovely people at Head Start Toys Australia and the Outer Heaven, of course. Uh, as you can see, things have sort of changed a little bit from the uh, ending of the last video. You can see we have some of the basic assortment that will be coming up later in review. But for the moment, we are going to go through the Ninja Shouts line. Now, this is the slightly bigger, I believe, 7-inch or something uh, assortment that are designed with little extra gimmick. Mainly, they actually talk. Now, uh, these have come direct from the factory. As you can see, uh, a lot of them still have the Try Me tags in. So... I will remove those tags and hopefully the batteries will still work and we'll go into the deeper review of those particular lines and then I'm going to go for a two for one in this one. We're also going to review the big boys that are hiding up the back here, the big Leonardo and the big Raphael, the Giants line as well. So we're going to do a two for one in this one get those uh, six figures out of the way then we can get to the basic assortment which everybody should have in their hands by now uh, unless you're Australian in which case you'll be missing one character I'll explain that in the next video and then we'll finish things off with the big thing in the back the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem sewer layer playset but for the moment you know the drill I'm going to take a moment to do a little bit of editing magic and clear off some of this stuff and open up some products so we can sit there and have a close look at it. So here we go. Three, two, one. See, wasn't that seamless? So we now have Michelangelo, Raphael, Donatello, and Leonardo. All in their nice little deluxe uh, assortment here for the Talking Turtles line. Um, and we've also redone everything. For those of you wondering where Donnie is, he's hiding up the top there. So, basically, uh, what we're going to get into now is the toys themselves. Now, I will say uh, straight out the gate, once again... They do come with battery changing instructions as well as a way to get extender stuff which I'm actually going to keep off side here. Now Michelangelo, we'll start with him considering he's nearby. If you notice, uh, the limbs don't really rotate, the legs have limited posability and movability, the head, well, let's try that again, the legs a little bit of a swivel, not really much to them. There's no movement in torto the torso because of the speaker gimmick. The head doesn't quite move like it does, like move a little bit, but not much. You've got the area to store nunchucks. Um, these nunchucks don't flop, they are pretty much static. So, just for the sake of things, I'm going to try... Jeez, that was tight. Um, I'm going to try and put them in his hands for the particular moment. Trying to do this on camera is sort of very tricky. The hands have a little bit of give to them. They do have a rotation, which is good. No bicep swivel or anything like that. Now, the big moment... We pull the tab, and I believe it's movement of the limbs creates the sound. Like that. Now, 
But you don't have to bring it up and do that. So you do get another variety of sounds out of him. Uh, next up, Raphael. Obviously, you can do the easier method, which I'm going to do this time around, and just put the size in the pockets here, which sort of creates a bit of a bumper there, which is not a great thing. And I do apologize if I keep, keep taking things out of camera, um, trying the best I can. Again, I'm not even going to bother, like, the, they're all made the same, there's not much to them. Uh, so, tags out, wraps up. Uh, the longer you hold something, you can create a, a bit of a feedback loop. So that's a bit weird. Uh, so that's Raphael. Donatello, again, I'm not going to go too much into the, the bits and pieces. He can hold his bow stuff in his hand, or you can put it in the back piece here. I'm going to put it in the back there, just because I'm being lazy. And he does have little holes in the side of his head here. So you can attach the glasses as I try to do it. They're not exactly fitting in the head holes properly, but it's enough to sort of hold them on for the point of the gimmick. Tab out. Yeah. Okay, Donatello is a different one. Leg. So he goes via the right leg and left arm. I do like the little detail of the phone in the uh, fanny back there. That's pretty cool. So yeah, that's pretty much him. <laughs> and the final guy of the round, good old Leo. Pull the tab out, let's do that in advance. Now, he does come with the extra piece in his, uh, in his box, which is supposed to go here, I guess, in the top of the back, I think, at least the way, that's the way I look at it, so I'm going to pop him in the, in the top of the back there and just like everyone else you know put them in the hand or you can put it in the holder do I have it upside down I don't know oh shush Aha. it seems that they only go through a specific way no I don't want to follow your lead. I want to put your swords in the scabbard. There you go. Now, he's like Donatello, except opposite. So... So, his left leg. And 
and yeah, in the right arm. So yeah, that's the uh, the Ninja Turtles uh, Ninja Shouts action line. As I go, I'm actually going to try and reinsert the tabs with these just to preserve the battery. So ignore the little sounds you're going to hear in the next couple of minutes. So that should, yeah. So once the tabs reinserted, no sound. So they're He's not bad. Um, they're not bad as a figure line. I... The only thing I would say is bad about these ones is that little... If you hold the limbs in the correct way, you can basically create a loop or a freeze in the audio file. Um, that can get annoying, as it probably has been throughout this review. But, not bad. Um, if you just want fairly simple figures that don't really do anything besides yell, this, this is pretty much the pose that you're going to get. Either you're going to have weapons in hand, weapons in holsters, and that's it. Um, these ones, not bad though. I will give him that. Uh, let's say probably a four out of five. I like them. I like that they have the the voice gimmick, but a little bit of more posability in like maybe giving them a uh, elbow joint or something, knee joint maybe. Uh, I don't know, maybe a couple more accessories or something, because, like, as you can see in the, the basic assortment at the back, they look a lot more articulated than these guys do. I know that they are hindered because of the speaker gimmick, but I reckon there could be a bit more posability out of them. They're not bad, but we'll see how we go. But enough about them. We're going to hit the big boys next. So the big boys are coming up. Uh, pretty much after this edit. Bye, see you in a second. So, finally we have the big boys. You're playing with the big boys now. Uh, these are the 12 inch assortment as it says on the back here. You only get Raph and Leo at the moment. I'm not too sure why they didn't decide to go with all four turtles. But I know that there's also been re-releases of these 12-inch ones in the 1986 style line. So that might have something to do with it. But, uh, yeah. So, these are the bigger boys. I might actually just open them straight on camera. Because I wanted to point out something about these and the uh, Ninja Shouts. Is the economical or environmentally friendly twine style. Uh, like rope holder. Rather than the traditional plastic which is on a lot of other toys. However, it does not stop the... Uh, the 65,000 layers of it that seems to be included here. As I'm just going to try and not cut myself. Now, kids, be careful when you're using big knives. Or sharp knives, in, the, in this case. Now, I'm just trying to find the other connection points. There's one on each arm. One be around about each knee. And there is, uh, oh, my collector soul! Ah, go rip it open! Oh no! Um, there is one last one that tied around the feet, which I am being extremely careful 
we're cutting with uh, this type of blade just because the the feet ones are tied like really onto the bottom of the figure and that's a hard area to cut without cutting into the figure itself and I don't like doing that my collector's soul is hurting right now but <sighs> Raphael is free and now we just gotta get the size off luckily it's a one cut and the other one is an easy one cut beautiful that's a lot of packaging for the figure like there's not really much else to it as you can see as I threw that onto the ever-growing pile of uh, bits and pieces and we can try and oh fine you stand over there and we'll do the same with Leo as we can see side arm one side arm two even though this bit's a bit weaker because I believe it's tied around the back there and we cut that off and we cut this off once again there goes the resale value <laughs> toys are meant to be enjoyed not kept in a box or in a container or something like that as my good friend TJ Omega likes to say that's the big thing about toys these days is too many people collecting not enough people playing and that pops that out and that's Leonardo done I believe or maybe not why are you still attached he doesn't want to leave as I drop a sigh on the floor and that's one sword and two swords enjoy growing my trash pile ha 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 looks like this one didn't want to untouch properly so here we go 12 inch Leo and a 12 inch draft that's what she said ha <laughs> ha um, just like standardized figures or we, we don't know because they're sitting on the back uh, no, but let's have a look at Raph first plenty of decent detail for his large size figure he's got his battle scarring on the front he's you know got all his limbs there I will say wow okay lots of uh, hip movement really good hip movement and a knee joint that is quite nice there hollow feet so be it the arm moves up and down and side to side so no elbow joints no oh well yes 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 we have a wrist to a degree it is very creaky this one same thing on the other side head full 360 degree movement but it is very tight and yeah that's your boy Mr. Rude but crude, or whatever they say these days, because they can't say he's rude or crude. The size lock in the hands pretty well. Only doing one side. The other side, you just pop into the to the holder there. And yeah, that's Raphael. It's not bad. Not bad for a bigger 12 inch figure. Leo is pretty much going to be the same except uh, he's got swords instead of size so you know the same time for knees and hips and shoulder joints you know we can put the sword in by going somewhat sideways as I'm horrible at this Ugh. Very, very tight hand grips. I will say that as uh, I apologize once again that it goes off camera. 
And he also has where you can put the blades in the back. Takes a little bit of force to get it through, but gets it through either way. So that's your joints. These guys, I like them. They're not bad. Again, I'd probably go probably about 3.5 out of 5. They're, I think maybe these guys could have done with the Ninja Shout gimmick. Where, like, because if you're going to keep the arms stiff like that, you might as well add the voice gimmick to it. Otherwise, these are just big figures with less articulation than the main toys. So, maybe something to look at down the road. So, this will end part two of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem figure extravaganza, or whatever the hell I end up calling this. That's your Giants done. That's your Deluxe uh, Ninja Shouts. Next comes probably the part that everybody's been waiting for. The basic line and leading into the sewer place set. So, tune in to video number three, where we'll be going through the basic figures, and then we'll see how we go from there. But for the moment, thank you for sticking around. Pick, go, go pick these up at your local toy shop. Support the brand. Support the movie, because... This thing has been phenomenal so far. I think this is the biggest resurgence of Turtles we've seen in many years. And I want to see it continue. I want the movie to get a sequel. I want the toys to keep being produced. Because this is the first time I have really been into collecting in a long, long time. So, go buy. These things, pretty good. If you can get the 86 ones as well, do it. Because you'll get something I can't get a hold of. Tune in the next one. We're going to go over the main basic assortment. And yeah, this will be fun.